Wedding trends are a lot like a fashion cycle right through the ages, and this one is no different. We're talking about fasting. Many people swear by intermittent fasting as a way to lose weight and improve health, but others say it's dangerous. So what's true here? Team 12's Julie Nelson set out to verify. Fasting has been around for centuries. We even have a word for breaking the fast after we sleep. But one of the latest trends is intermittent fasting, an umbrella term for a variety of diets. Alternate day fasting, where you eat a normal amount of calories one day, then don't eat or sharply limit your calories the next day. The 5-2 version, eating normally five days out of the week and limiting calories the other two. And then there's the warrior diet, eating in a scheduled window every day, like eight hours in the afternoon afternoon and evening, followed by 16 hours of fasting. But is any of it safe? Our body is always either in a fasted state or in a fed state. Our sources, Paul Kriegler, registered dietitian and program manager for nutritional products at Lifetime, and Dr. Renee Korzak, registered dietitian, nutrition professor at the University of Minnesota, and lead sports dietitian for the Minnesota United. But I do think there's a strong belief that if I fast, I'll lose weight. Mm -hmm. um, and it may work in the short term but trying to really teach people what are the long-term health consequences of this is very important. People get attracted to the kind of the trendiness of fasting but they don't realize that if you're living a healthy lifestyle you're probably spending 12 to 16 hours a, every day in a fasted state. But Dr. Korzak has concerns. From a nutritional standpoint when you're cutting calories you can become deficient in certain nutrients. Definitely not something I would send a beginner off to, to go try and experiment with. Our sources disagree Agree on whether fasting can work. Yeah, there are ways to, to practice fasting safely. Do you think these intermittent fasting diets are safe? I, I'm just not there yet to say that it's, it's beneficial. Dr. Korzak worries about long-term consequences and notes fasting can cause changes in your metabolism. When you're fasting, you, you know, especially for long periods of time, you lower your uh, resting metabolic rate, meaning that your baseline calories is now much lower, so you're already putting yourself in deficit. But Kriegler believes fasting can be safe if you include healthy choices. So if you have a healthy metabolism and an overall healthy diet, then introducing periods of time where you skip a meal here and there um, doesn't send your metabolism, you know, wildly off course. The differing opinions of our dietitians mirrors the different conclusions you'll find online, even in medical journals. A 2017 study in the Journal of the American Medical Association found alternate day fasting was no more effective than calorie counting and that people gave up on fasting more often. But a study published by the National Institutes of Health a year earlier found the exact opposite. Bottom line, our sources agree fasting or any diet plan should start with a visit to your doctor. You know, I would say consult your physician. What I would do is check with your doctor or get your health evaluated. Just understand your baseline level of metabolic health. All right, some good advice there. Yeah, but you hear it time and time again. So many fad diets and at the end of the day, it's eating right and exercising. Right. Really. The fads come and go. Yeah. <laughs> All right.